Hey, what's up guys? It's MadGamesGX here and we're here with the long-awaited post egg of Brandon Despia deck profile that I've been cooking up the last few weeks that really because we're gonna, this deck is going to have issues with Pearly and Tier Lament and obviously now the best uh, contender rescue ace. However, I think I've made a build that's going to really smash the meta and be able to wedge its way in and you're going to be able to do a lot of really great things with this deck. Now, it didn't get any new support in negative. However, I think that this is one of those decks where Brandon Fusion is still at three. So you really just have to adjust the deck to the meta and as long as you do that and you know what you're doing behind the deck you'll just be fine against any deck and that's what we've designed this deck to do it has answers for every meta call in it and it's very consistent it's very good let's just get right into it please like and subscribe if you want to see more i'll do test hands as well if you guys want to see a full combo tutorial please let me know down in the comments below let's get right into it so we're going to start off with the non-branded despia cards we have one dark magician because we're running dragoon we're running do uh one duality uh we want to go into dragoon it's really good against sp little knight it's one of your best answers for sp little knight because it's not untargetable and then also it gives you the um just board presence of a constant omni negate that cannot be destroyed that also goes up and attack almost pseudo towers is very good in cash format i think it's going to be very good going forward so let's just uh get uh into the next card obviously we have the bestie or we'll, we'll we'll get into that last we do have the one gimmick puppet i think gimmick puppet it's as controversial as it is it's one of those cards that allows the deck to win going first it's turn one boards aren't very good a lot of the time so gimmick puppet allows it to do very very well it's also just a one of where the rest of the deck does not rely on gimmick puppet so it's one of those things where it's extra on top of things it's there to threaten your opponent if you need to however the deck does very well going first or second even without it so it is there though and we are running allure so it's just another target for allure um then we're running three radians so pearly unchained tier laments and rescue ace all get really hurt by a kaiju well placed kaiju on whether it's a kaleido heart whether it's a sp little knight whether it's a obviously noir or whether it's a um just uh a yama or one of the unchained link monsters or the dd card it's very good and on top of that we're running the allure engine so we always have darks without the radiant i think this deck has a lot of issues with how many darks you run obviously uh and this allows the deck to go first and second with the card because we can just banish it off of allure if we draw it going first or going second it's there to either extend with allure or obviously break a board so it's very good in that respect i very much like in this and i think it's going to be very good going forward this deck kind of struggles running hand traps. I wanted to run something that would help the in engine, and I think Radian does both of those things. Now we're going to do three Bestials. We're running one Magnumut, one Lubelion, and one Saranir. These two are quite standard, don't have to talk about them. One Magnumut, I think, is pretty good because it helps unbrick certain hands and it gives you the edge in the Unchained and Tier Lones uh, matchup when you have Saranir and Magnumut in the main deck. You are very likely to see either of them. Um, and then on top of that, you have other side decks. So it's just really there for the edge and to unbreak and then alert. It's just very good. So then we have, th um, we're getting into the Despia branded stuff. We're going for three, a Luber. Obviously a Luber is one of the best starters of the deck. You want to see it off of branded opening a lot of the time that are Quem, but you don't love normal summoning it, but it is what it is. It's one of those cards. We are running droplet. So you can do the normal a uh, they chain, they like chain bear and then you go droplet and then you just like make them go Omega neg. Um, so I think three Alubers fine with the allure. Uh, one Albion, really standard. Three Albaz, really standard. I was thinking about running two, but we have uh, Allure. One Kit, because we are on the Allure, it's just an extra option. Also, we can Gold Sark off of Mercurier to search this for a direct branded fusion in. Um, very good card. And then we have two Cartesia. We are running the one Duality. I think Cartesia is very standard on top of the one Quem. We love the girls. I was running three and two, but I think they're kind of... When you draw, draw two Cartesia, you basically lose those hands. Same with two Quem. So I think two and one is perfect. Plus the one Duality, so we can go... Uh, uh, turn the Grand Wignall into a Dragoon. Uh, she's just amazing. And then Quem was also basically the ad lib of the deck, so we don't really need to run ad lib. Then we have Mercurier and Tragedy. If you if you see Tragedy Allure or Mercurier Allure, you basically win the game. So also we're running Allure. So no one's really on Droll main deck, at least yet. That might come back into the meta, especially without Labyrinth being there, because I think Droll hurts all the top decks, frankly. So this variant could become... Uh, probably non-optimal if people start main decking troll as they were in the YCS Philly format where 
super heavy was around. I don't think it's going to be that bad. So I think this build's going to be the best. Allure allows you to gas through your opponent's boards. Albaz, the stack it needs a little bit extra gas compared to the new stuff. Um, so Allure allows you to do that because no one's on the um, uh, Droll main deck. So you're able, and you can just side out game two and three. So it allows for good siding patterns. And then it'll, and then if you just hit um, either your Radiant or just like Mercury or Tragedy, you're just infinite plusing. You have a lot of darks in the deck. So you're able to search through your deck, get all the pieces you need. So you're able to play through boards. It's very good in that respect. I think it's very good. So yeah, three branded fusion. It's the best card in the deck, obviously. Uh, the, whenever this card goes to one, uh, rip, rest in peace. Uh, one foolish burial. It's very good just to help uh, complete boards most of the time and then start uh, three fusion uh, deployment very standard it allows you to break boards or just get out your Cartesia so you can dodge imperm you go like fusion deployment um, Cartesia and then you normal Aluber so you, uh, you can dodge the imperm because you can chain Cartesia for people who don't know that I know this is very basic but I want to explain the basic you know a little interactions for the people just starting on the deck or um, so yeah then there's gold Sark obviously this gets you starting it started very good card uh, one harpy farther duster i'm running this because we're running a thrust package this is our thrust package right here uh that feather feather dust i think thrust is one of the best cards in the deck because you can search the branded fusion or a board breaker or fusion duplication it's one of the best thrust decks in the whole game so i think three is very very mandatory in this deck um if you want to take this deck to a high level unfortunately when the deck's uh cards a hundred dollars unfortunately however it really does a lot for the deck and because you can just get the feather duster any any answer your deck needs at the moment thrust will get you there which sounds broken because it is <laughs> and duster allows you to get over the rescue ace board it allows you to get over pearly stuff it allows you to get over tier and stuff and allows you to force the unchained interactions and allows you to go into labyrinth and other other rogue decks so it's just very good all around even sucks going first but like that's why we are on the, the allure so we don't have to rely um you know we have extra gas so uh one hero i think we need a game one for the deck for the times that we go second so we don't just auto lose against those ducks um and rescue ace is going to be very, very prevalent so you're going to want a feather duster main deck to get rid of those back row one herald of the abyss because this deck has a very hard time with pearly um frankly unless you see herald of the abyss because it doesn't have a very hard uh, i mean besides the radiant obviously but uh, that's why we're running the herald so we have seven outs to pearly when they have the noir we're gonna have seven outs and so we'll see it always with allure so our deck will always be able to take on the pearly matchup it's very easy with this uh build um so yeah the herald of the abyss just gets over pearly it doesn't trigger my friend and it gets over the unchained cards very well obviously you can also do it on like sp little knight so it's very good in that respect uh one talent so you can hand rip obviously and then um three thrust uh this is really for going first obviously and then three thrust so you can search anything including brand of fusion or fusion duplication which fusion duplication copies any fusion in your graveyard it also co it also copies polymerization which i just found out i did not or super polymerization so yeah um this card is very good and uh we saw this when we get ashed and then we play through ash that's why we're not in cross out i think this is better than cross out cross out is a brick uh most of the time um so thrust is a lot more utility and allows you to go off a lot more and then uh obviously we're running the called by because we don't uh if we draw this we win and then the rest of the branded spells uh brandon and red three branded opening branded lost branded retribution for the recurrence and then one duality so we can uh, make rang and recycle the recycle ability is actually very good off the draw one i just like the one so you never brick on two it's very good for so just in case you need it and i think maybe we could ever like maybe we can up the cartesias and the quam and the dualities but i think for now this is just the most consistent very good build so yeah uh let's go into the extra deck now uh one guardian chimera because we love making off a brand or Brandon Red, very good card. One Sanctifier. It's basically the second best fusion. The extra deck next to Mirror Jade. It can't be targeted, and it's your out for evenly. But obviously, the most important part is your gimmick puppet lock. So very good card. You always want to make him for the most part. Uh, one Boral Load Furious, Furious Dragon. This is a new addition. This is a it has the ability to be a quick play. Target one monster you control and one card your opponent controls. Destroy them. So when you have this in Sanctifier, you can kind of just keep looping cards, especially when you have like it's just really good. Um, so it's just kind of there for, as a flex spot. This could be a Sprind or something, honestly. 
Uh, this could be really anything you want it to be. We aren't on Super Poly because Super Poly is kind of bad this format. So because Rescue Ace will not be making boards that can be Super Poly now that they have SP Little Knight. And then obviously uh, Unchained, Tier Limits, and I mean Tier Limits can be Super Poly, but it really helps them more than it hurts them. And then also obviously um doesn't uh, hurt unchained or pearly at all so super poly is quite bad right now don't run it um in this deck so then three mirror jade it's the best card in the deck you banish it's your way around unchained it's your way around tier limits um just the banish is huge this format gets over everything and also you can get over pearly noir by crashing it into it. it's very good um always just play mirror jade control for the most part if you're not playing um gimmick puppet uh so then one dragoon because we want to secure our gimmick puppet lock off the duplication if we already like set up we can just do duplication make a dragoon or obviously we have the duality so you have a very good card and then we have the main deck dark magician to play into boards just in case like a rescue ace board um and then we have Dragostapelia. Um, this is just generically just really good. It helps you against like Sprite. W this will straight up just win you certain matchups that need that need their level like Manadium and stuff like that. And then two Albion, very really standard. One Quertus for the Grand Guignol. And also it just it, it, it really does wall out certain decks. So you need to run. I regret not running out of the regional. Two Grand Guignol, we, you need two in my opinion if you're playing Gimmick Puppet on some level. Especially with like any sort of duality. Because of the fact that if they imperm the first and then you have to banish it. Like you need the second one to set, to set up your play. Um, and then one Lubelion. It's just really good anyways. One Lubelion, one Rinbrum, and one Titanic Clad. Uh, just because this is a pretty good, just generically okay card. It gets over right SP, obviously. So then one Panker Tops in the side deck because we can, uh, it's very good in the deck because you can sanctify it. It just gets over generic uh, floodgates that the deck loses to like Baguska and stuff like that. One Druid Swarm so we can search out the Magnuma and then two Crow. This could probably be up to two Druid Swarm, honestly, but who knows. Uh, three Droll because we're, we're running Droll over Ash this time around. I think Droll is a lot more important in this format. It hits all the top decks, as I mentioned before, outside of Pearly. So it's very good in the side and it really will just auto win you certain matchups like Manadium and then one Herald Earth. Oh my gosh. That was not supposed to be a Herald of the Abyss. So we'll just put in a Druid Swarm, folks. Yeah, so two Druid Swarm, and then three Droll, and then three Forbidden Droplet. I mentioned this before, but Forbidden Droplet's back in the format because of uh, Rise Heart being banned, and it's very good because you have certain normal summons where you can go normal summon, they'll go negate, and then you'll chain Droplet, and then they just completely lose the game, basically, especially really important against the Manadium decks. So you basically side this and you go against any deck for the most part. Um, then one D barrier because it's a uh, thrust target. So if pearly hand traps, you can just thrust them. And then, uh, one even or three evenly match. So you can, um, break boards and it's, uh, you run this over lightning storm because you run bestials. Uh, now I, I'm, I am noticing right now that just in case there can only be one is something that you could potentially run also for the Flunderies matchup, I'm thinking. So we could just do this. Yeah, we run two of these because I think you need something for when Flunder D shifters you or like uh or when Exo Sister D shifters you. So yeah, that's going to be that. That is the deck build. Thank you. Thank you all for watching very much. Uh we're you're you're gonna see a few test hands at the end of this video. Um, I think this build's very good. I hope that you guys try out Branded. We're going to keep supporting Branded. Like and subscribe if you want to see more Branded content. We are pumping out the AGOV content. We're doing shorts every day. We're doing live streams every Wednesday, every Monday. So check those out. Locals Wednesday. Uh, and then we do just like YG Omega ranked and DB ranked on Mondays. Then check out my Twitter in the link below. We do updates there. Check out the Discord. We have a nice community there. We do uh, fun stuff there. Uh, then also check out the podcast uh we haven't done the episode in a while because the podcast you guys aren't really watching it so if you guys watch it we will keep doing the podcast so go check that out in the description below we have a lot of good stuff there i don't know if i'm forgetting anything but if i am who knows please leave a like and comment below what did you guys think on the stack profile is branded going to be the best branded variant versus chimera is chimera going to be better, better this format what are you guys going to be taking into this format Thank you very much for watching the video. We're closing in on 2,000 subscribers. So like I said, hit the bell, hit the like button, hit the subscribe uh, bar if you want to support the channel. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.